25 years ago, your father took my blood and he cloned me. He made you from me. Why would he send you? Because I'm the best. You are obviously not the best. Man, I can't wait for the PlayStation 5. The graphics on the humans in the PlayStation 5 are gonna look so bitchin'. I can't wait. I just saw Gemini, man. This stars Will Smith, and there's a younger Will Smith that looks like a PlayStation 5 version of Will Smith. Actually, I hope the PlayStation 5 version of Will Smith actually looks a little bit better than the one that they had in this movie. You guys know the deal. The marketing has been massive for this flick. It's all about Will Smith encountering a clone of himself, a much younger and equally adept Will Smith who is a killer and he's a hired killer that works for the government and he's very good at his job but he wants to retire there's an organization within the government a shadowy organization within the government that doesn't want him to retire and so what do they do they make a younger version of Will Smith I don't want to shoot you fine don't shoot me mind if I shoot you Ang Lee who's the director an incredible director who's given us lots of fantastic films some not so fantastic, does a pretty good job at shading and shadowing young Will Smith's face, so it looks really believable in some sequences. Not so much when the light sort of flashes across him in some weird ways, or the lighting on the face is a little bit different than the lighting on older Will Smith's face. But then there are some sequences later on in the film where the CG model of Will Smith, which was done by Weta, who has done some fantastic CG models in the past, it falls apart. You're just trying to rattle me. Apparently this was all shot to be played at a super fast frame rate to sort of blend and make the CG digital effects look even more realistic. But it feels clunky, it feels stilted, and it really, really rips you right out of the film like any gimmick like this would. You can't help but stop and pick it apart. And you just know that everybody labored way too much to have this gimmick in this movie because people are damn good in this movie. Mary Elizabeth Winstead is great. Benedict Wong is in this and he's terrific. Clive Owen is doing everything he can but twirl a, a mustache because he's such a shady bad guy in this movie. Will Smith is always great. He's one of my favorite actors. Because I'm the best. But I feel like this is the third major time where he's let down by some weird CG effect that just rips you out of just sheer enjoyment, rips you out of the possibility that you're going to be fully entertained. And Aladdin was one of them where you're like, hmm, that looks a little okay, and that looks weird, that looks weird. I Am Legend with those CG zombies was another one, and that here is Gemini Man. Again, it's like the bad CG just follows Will Smith around and fucks up his movies over and over again. You are obviously not the best. It's such a drag because there's some really cool action sequences in this movie. Ang Lee has worked with stunt performers and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and been able to throw the human body around in some pretty spectacular ways and there is a pretty damn fun motorcycle chase in this movie that evoked a little of the opening sequence of Casino Royale for me. <laughs> The young Will Smith was doing some flipping and flying and kicks and some throwing the bike around. It was just really kinetic and really cool. <laughs> Big chunks of this movie are not kinetic and cool though. It feels like we've got an extra long beat as the camera is transitioning from one character to the next. There's a lot of this three quarter shot with lots of room in there and the framing feels like it just takes a little too long to bounce back and forth when characters are having dialogue and it's not like the acting is bad it's just the shopping and the cutting and the editing and I just feel like you can feel everybody working so hard to get this concept together and make it work and it kind of does in a couple of bits but I feel like the effort isn't worth the payoff. <laughs> There's some competent work, it's just the editing is weird and it feels like everything is paced almost like a 1970s thriller. It just doesn't feel natural and fluid and I would say that about the CG young Will Smith too. It just doesn't feel quite natural, quite fluid enough. We're getting there. I would say that in some of the Marvel de-aging process, we got there. You want to get personal. To better effect, honestly, than what we've got with Gemini Man. I don't know if it was the effect choices. Something happened that this just didn't coalesce for me. 
competent action picture, and honestly, I would have taken these actors and this terrific director, looked at some footage of the CG Will Smith, and scrubbed that whole concept. Just gone in a totally different idea, like just this aging killer that wants to retire and the agency doesn't want to let him retire, like a retiring Jason Bourne type thing or something, and that would have been more exciting than Gemini Man, which is a movie where you're going to watch it and you're going to be thinking about the effect shots the entire way through, and that's not how we want to watch our movies. Come on, Ang Lee. You could do better than this. I'm going to give Gemini Man a 5 out of 10.